Welcome, everybody, to the 19th episode and super, super likely the final <laughs> episode of the Rise of Tiamat campaign, uh, which is a set from the uh, Tyranny of Dragons from Dungeons & Dragons. It's actually two books that we went through uh, with this wonderful group of people with through both books, and they are at the very finale. And Kravik, you are going to kick us off, is that right, with the uh, recap? That is right. How's my audio coming through? Let me double check it, actually. It's a good, it's a good oh, call out there. Righty. Looking good, looking good. Okay, well, fighting bravely across the Sword Coast, our adventurers have attempted to thwart and stop the cult of the dragon from summoning the ancient queen of dragons, Tiamat, into the physical plane. They have allied with the many factions across Feyrun and even brokered with the metallic dragons to get their aid in the apocalyptic battle ahead. They marched forward toward the Well of Dragons, but after learning that Tiamat's summoning was even closer at hand than they had thought, they pleaded for the aid of the god Bahamut. And since he felt the presence of Tiamat, he conceded and teleported the armies of men and elves to the Well of Dragons, where they clashed against the cultists and orcs and goblins fending off the well. Looking onward, a great volcano split up from the ground with a tower beaming between the rocks. They went inside and battled their way to the summoning chamber inside the tower. The cultists were chanting and summoning, but once they approached close enough, the leader of the cult of dragons, Severin, floating high at the top of his enormous tower, began to laugh. The mighty claw of Tiamat reached from the portal below and took the dragon mass they had collected, reaching between the planes to find them, and Severin's dragon mask was complete. Tiamat screeched from within the portal, her massive claw going from ethereal to physical as she pulled herself up into the temple, letting out a loud roar. The temple began to quake under the strain of a god and has started crumbling around them. Above them, through the debris from the fallen ceiling, they can see the golden dragon Protanther, the leader of the metallic dragons, locked in the air in combat with an adult red dragon. The battle waged on outside of the temple, and they began their assault on Tiamat, but she was untouchable. She was the very god of dragons they had heard about. Seeing they were soon to fall to her mighty five heads, they struck out against the one who had summoned her, Severin, the leader of the Cult of Dragons. After he was finally defeated, they destroyed the dragon mask, shattering it to pieces, Tiamat's presence in the physical plane waned, and after hours of combat, Tiamat absorbed the pieces of the shattered dragon mask and took to the skies, heading west toward Waterdeep. They hopped aback their metallic dragon allies and gave chase, a black dragon tailing behind them. Tiamat so close to defeat, but can she be sent back to the Nine Hells before she takes out her wrath on Waterdeep? What will our party do? Can they stand against a god? Join us for today's campaign where every dice roll counts, where fates will be made and blood will be spilt. Tiamat has returned. Mm. All right, so you guys are on the back. We've got Tronic and uh, Balasar in the front here on the back of uh, the Silver Dragon. Uh, we also have uh, Kravik, Lenora, and Fife uh, right behind them on Protanther. Um, and then... Uh, the red dragon, which Kravik took control of, uh, is that right, Kravik? Isn't that right? Yes, that is correct. Um, Onthar Froom is behind them on that dragon. Uh, an adult black dragon had swooped in to give chase as well, uh, telling behind. Um, now, as you guys are flying and you're trying to catch up, which, by the way, I did keep track. It is Balasar's turn. Um, but as you guys are, are, are uh, trying to catch up with Tiamat, uh, the skies begin to turn red, um, and uh, it's almost as if the skies are tearing open. There's a tremendous downpour of rain uh, and lightning streaking the sky. It almost seems as if the lightning is following Tiamat as she is flying uh, west and beginning to turn north to try to get to Waterdeep in a frenzy. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was right at the end there, Kravik and I believe Lenora and Fife had noticed that although her wings are spread, um, 
the way that they are moving, you would recognize that she, the wings have nothing to do with her flight. Um, just want to throw that out there. There's a little detail about Tiamat uh, that you guys had noticed. All right, but it is your turn, Balasar. Um, okay, so two things. One is, can you share the map again? Oh, I'm sorry. Just, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, let me share that. Coast, if you have it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there we go. You guys got it? Yeah. I got yes, sir. it. Yep. Okay, so we got a black dragon following us, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and Tiamat, now when you say the like, the the lightning seems to be following her. Mm -hmm. Is it that it seems to be like guarding her rear, like countermeasures from like a, it does appear like that Air it's, Force One. Yeah, it seems like <laughs> it's striking around her, almost as if it's trying to protect her. Yes. Okay. So protected by a bunch of lightning, um, and we're chasing her, and we're on the back of. Yeah, but, uh, na, 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 na. The, <laughs> yeah, the let me, I forgot his name. Uh, it's a hard one to pronounce. Oteri Leah Carnos. Carnos. Let's just call him Carnos. Carnos. Great. I love that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it on the track. I feel like we should call him Terry if his name's Oteri. <laughs> we can do Terry. Mm -hmm. I'm down with Terry. <laughs> Terry. They got weird names, you know? Terry does seem to fit with the other names in the campaign better, I, th I do believe. Funny names. What if he's scary, uh, Terry? Scary Terry. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see. I knew you'd get that one, Matt. Uh -huh. Uh, Let's see what kind of spells I got. No, we're chasing too much in midair. Um, does there seem to be any way that that dragon could get me on top? That old, uh, old Terry. <laughs> old Terry. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way that old Terry could get me Did you me call him old Terry? Mind? Yeah, I had to, for some reason it fits. <laughs> um, do I see any way that that um, that old old Terry <laughs> could get me onto Tiamat? Uh, uh, well, um, what do you mean by on Tiamat? I mean, just in in a way that I could strike. Oh, uh, so melee strike. Uh, so you could you could make an attempt for to drive like you know push Terry forward to try to get close enough. Sure, is that what you're? Is that um, what you're that's what you meant, right? Like fly up. Now you're gonna have to explain yeah. it. Like, do you want to come above her to the side, below her? Like, you know exactly how you want to attempt. Um, does Tiamat still seem like Tiamat is uh, close to death, or uh, at least hurt? She is more. She look. I'll say this. She looks more um, ethereal. You can see through her more now than you ever been able to, as if she is fading from the material plane. Hey, no fake friends. Uh, let's what? see. Okay. Um, hmm, I don't really have anything. Oh, you know what? I have. Wait, am I? I'm with him, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm on the track. So, why, do you have any arrows of dragon slaying? I. That's what I was just thinking. I do. Um, I have. Let me see what I got. I got. Yeah, I got three arrows of dragon slaying. Um, okay. Yeah, because I, I just don't think, I think without, I think if I move uh, Terry up there, he, just, he or she is just going to get struck by lightning. Um, or they. Um, <laughs> by lightning. So, Zay, whatever. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to, I'm going to fire a uh, arrow of dragon slaying at Yamai. All right. Uh, okay. Oh. Mm, miss. All right. Um, do I have a? Do I have any luck rolls left? Uh, oh, I got an inspiration. <coughs> you definitely have inspiration. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll re-roll that. Okay. Great. Um, I think I. I think I do have one luck roll left. Is that is that okay? Yeah, that's what you want to use. Um, all right, because I do have one inspiration left. 
So I want to keep that for a, some sort of saving throw. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to use it again one we, more time. I think you might. Ahead, have, I think you might have got another one maybe at the end of the last one because I'll show you have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have two. So I just used one. Okay. So I want to keep one. Oh, it still um, missed. I didn't see that roll. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a fake. Um, that was an error. So let me just do that again. Um, all right. Uh, you know, so I'm going to use my last uh, luck roll. Okay. To there yes. it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Here comes a charm. Okay. So the arrow of dragon slaying. Let me see if I can do this from. Bander, do you crit on a 19? No, no, that's just. Um, Ronick does. That's just. Uh, I thought 23 uh, would miss, but maybe this arrow is magic special or something. If the uh, dragon is. Takes damage from this arrow, it must make a DC 17 constitution saving throw, which I assume it automatically uh, wins. So it's like 60, 10 piercing damage, or I- I'm wondering if I can just do it as a, I don't think I can do it as a, oh yeah, I can, wait. Oh, you know what? It looks like it rolls. Let's see. No, I, I don't know how to do this without uh, yeah, I don't know how to do this without um, just uh, uh, just rolling. Yeah, just roll. That's fine. We can do, okay, we can do 60, it manually. Okay, 10. Okay. Here's uh, here's 5d10 and here's another one. All right. Uh, and then, um, so that would be whatever the damage is, is 29. So half is like 15, I guess, or 14. Mm. Um, and then I'm just going to roll the damage for the arrow. All right. Two. All right. Okay. We did that one on its own. All right. Perfect. All right. Um, and now I'm going to fire again. Okay. With another arrow of dragon slaying. Okay. Miss. And then I miss. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. I guess longbows don't have plus. Yeah, okay. All right. That one just misses. All right. All right. Then it is Anthar Froom's turn. Um, he has a crossbow. He is going to try to come up on the side a little bit closer so you can get a good so he's not shooting through everybody um let's see if he can hit <clears throat> hit huh. 10 damage partially resisted all right and now it is tronic's turn Ugh. Alistar, hey, if you don't make it out of this, I just want to <laughs> let you know I've always admired you. Uh, wow. They love confession. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to, let's see. Do, 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 do. What a funny time to do that confession when we're really close to winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was only a, it was a they half say confession. It's always darkest when you're in the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to create some drama here, guys. Oh my god, because we won this war, and I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <home. laughs> uh, I will also try to fire an arrow of dragon slaying to start my first attack. All right. Miss. I miss. I will also use a luck. Okay. I think I have. I haven't used any, so I have three. If that does anything. Nope. Worse. <laughs> uh, one last time for the for the win. Maybe Balasar. 
Hey, and a crit. Hey. Oh, nice. Great. Nat 20, too. Oh. All right. How do I do wow. damage on this? Uh, you just got to... Um, so it's normally... Um, how many is it? How many How many dice is it for the dragon slam? Let me see here. Um, 5d10. So is it 6? Okay, yeah. So it would be 12d10. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Uh, here's 10. And, and then your regular bonus, or your regular attack for this arrow as well. Here's 10. 70. Uh, All right. Did it hit him? I don't know. No, I'm it's doing. it doesn't know. We got. I got to okay. do it manually. And then here's the other two for the twelve. Okay. Those, those are, wow, I got like three tens in there. Pretty good. Uh, oh. pretty good average there. Uh, and then what's the regular? You said a regular arrow attack. Yeah, now just a regular arrow. Yeah, just you know, attack him yep. with the bow. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. That was attack number one with attack number two. Uh, what was he? I'm going to try to. So I think that that attack just did what? Like basically 55 damage. Yeah. Even with the saving throw. Nathan. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I will actually, I'm going to hang, I'm going to hang back. I'm going to just do a regular bow. I'm out of arrows of dragon sling. Unfortunately, I only had three and I used two last time, I believe. Right. Mm. I think, I think I did. So I'm just going to, here's one. Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You are <laughs> right beside each other. He could easily hand you one. All right. Hey, I noticed hey. you're reaching back. <laughs> that wasn't for the arrow, but thank you. Okay, hold on. Hit. Hey. All right. Hey. Uh, and this is normal one, which is what? Uh, uh, 60, Six. 10. Okay. Nice, 26. And then there's another one. And then the normal attack from the bow. Now he automatically saves, right? Yeah. Nathan? Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. So it's half. Okay. Um so that's twenty four. That's uh oh wait, I get yeah, I'll just attack with the normal you don't have another one of those, do you? <laughs> no. Remember that other one that sailed off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. If you fly really fast downward, you might get another one. I'll try to get off a third. Uh... Somebody in Dragon Spear uh, got real yeah. lucky. That's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> or unlucky. All right. <laughs> Seven damage. Yeah. All right. Now, after you finish this, um, her uh, the white dragon head uh, points. Uh, she's still facing completely forward, but the white dragon head turns and spins behind. Mm -hmm. Opens uh -oh. its giant maw. Ruh -ruh. Okay, pull up! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing maneuvers! <laughs> First on old Terry. Oh, oh 19. All right, so this took Not Terry. Old Terry. old Terry was taken by surprise and wasn't able to shield you. Um, let's see. First, we'll roll Who's the damage. Who's old Terry? Uh, you, you guys. You guys. Oh, you know. Okay. What? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can um, can I? I think. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. Hang on one sec. In the meantime, um, Nathan, I have a ring of cold resist. Just FYI. Good. Good. All right. Oh, is this is is this a breath weapon? Yes. Yeah. Oh, then yeah. Never mind. Yeah, she's blowing <laughs> chunks of ice. Uh, back out of her maw. Uh, let's see. Here's roll against Tronic. Miss. No, these are attack rolls. Oh, whoops. I rolled. I, no, I actually rolled the wrong thing. Hang on. My bad. I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean it missed? Hang on. Here we go. Because, yeah, the 31 damage, too, is. Uh, As to old Terry. Lovely. Would love it. But. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah. Hang on one second. 
Where is old Terry? I'm playing by the rules. I mean, Sorry. good job, right. Paladin. Uh, <laughs> Malasar holds up a little sign that says "Yipe," like uh, <laughs> Wiley <Wally> Coyote. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I have a healing potion. Oh, I do. Is that good for like 10 hit points? Those are nothing these days. 10, 10 at most. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you it's like when you get stabbed and you pop an Advil. Yeah. You're like, this'll help. That's roughly the equivalent of what it is what it is in the fantasy world. All right, failed. And here's the extra damage. Oh. Who's that to? Oh, Terry. That was uh, Terry. Oh, okay. Terry! 58, but resisted. Um, now it's time right. for Tronic. Oh, good. Good old Terry. <laughs> oh, succeeded. And you should get a natural code resist. Let's make sure it works. Woo! 56 damage, half. It should be even less than half. Did that look right be to you, Tronic? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's half. it did it. Okay. No, no, Wait, no. It no, it, it halved yeah. it for 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 uh, uh, making the save. It didn't half it for the cold resist. Okay, well, let me fix that then. So, so half it yourself. Should have made it twenty five, twenty eight. Um, so half of that would be. So I need to give you back fourteen. Uh, 14 yeah. Let's see, I could also... I'm just going to do this. My brain ain't working with the COVID. Hang on. Got my... Well, Matt, you know, you're so down on spells. Uh, and uh, and uh, or potions and their healing. Yes. I could also do a uh, cure wounds at level two. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm, that could be mm -hmm, almost, better. I don't know, 15 hit points. <laughs> Balsar failed the roll. I failed. Um, mm. I also have a ring of cold resist. Thank God. Okay. Um, so woo! take the, off wow! half of that. All right. I'll take off. Uh, so I'm 81. Yeah. My wounds. Um, his rolls on me were a lot better. <laughs> yep. Her okay. her rolls. That's probably why. <laughs> we're using fantasy grounds. Okay. All right. All right. So now it is Kravik's turn. All right. I am going to cast Polymorph on the adult black dragon that's following us. Okay. It failed. All right. So now, instead of a dragon, he is a very slow butterfly. Okay. So as you cast this on the uh, dragon, mm -hmm. um, it's almost as if it vanishes. Uh, you guys are moving what? at such high speed and the rain. Um, you assume the spell worked because it's almost as if he vanishes in thin air. Um, mm. You guys are just moving such speed with the rain pouring down. It just looks as though he is just gone. Um so oh, I, th I thought you said the spell disappeared. No, 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 like, no okay. No. no. Um well the, these are their dragons. They are, remember they have the thing where they just can decide yeah, how yeah. Like to do things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks you assume that it worked because um, from behind you as you're zipping along on the back of Protanther, uh, it looked as though he vanished. Uh all, all right. right. Anything I else? I turn to Lenora and I go, uh, that's one less problem. It's really fun to think about that there's like a bird out there that's about to like think they got a tasty little treat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody's going to have a really yeah, rough day. Post credit scene the bird eats the butterfly and then explodes when the dragon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's great. That's so, James Gunn uh, ownership right there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. Since the, uh, <laughs> since it's now the, were you done, Kravik? I am done. Okay, since it's now the Black Dragon's turn, um, suddenly uh, he reappears uh, below you. Oh, God um, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, no, he, like, one less problem? Uh, he is uh, casting Acid Breath below at Protanther. Now, we're going to see if it actually gets you guys above Protanther or not, based on Protanther's saving roll, which was really bad, so no. Um, 
All right, so let's do the damage on Protanther first. Protanther takes 54 damage. Uh, all right, now let's roll. But this is going to be at a disadvantage because you guys are on the top. So uh, let's start with Kravik. Kravik failed. Now, hold on a second. Wait, you so guys... No, no, no. I gotta do that back backwards. I'm sorry. This would actually be advantage, because it's your roll. Hang on. Let me redo that. Even worse. Nice. Still fell. All right. Now, I still have that ring of evasion, <coughs> uh, so I can uh, automatically succeed on this, right? If you'd like, yes. I would can you like. evade? I'm not trying to be... Uh, but can you I, evade while you're riding I, the dragon? I would say so, because I would say that it would be easier... For him, actually, because it it's below him, and all he would have to do is a small little gnome. Almost, is just Dude. bunch himself up, you know, <laughs> as the as the acids whipping around the bottom of the uh, dragon. All right, An so action scooch. You know, <laughs> yes. All right, let's row for Lenora. We're gonna row twice because you guys do have an advantage here. Failed the first one. I will Rolling. happily use... I well, you get two rolls anyway. Okay. There you go. You succeeded. Because uh, it's going to be advantage, because you guys could, you know, uh, maneuver yourself on top of the dragon. All right, okay. so you did succeed. Here's the damage. Half of 46. 23. All right, and now for... Five. Play D&D and learn math. <laughs> Succeeded. Half of 56. All right. And now it is Lenora's turn. I don't know. Uh, Nate, I want to do a judgment call. I have a, an ability to... I can, I can create a strong gust of wind. Um, could I... Do I realistically think wind would slow this dragon down? You said wings weren't making him fly would a wind flying against him affect him at all do i need to roll to like knowledge on that history on that or uh, um, can i just tell that that won't do anything or that it might work roll an, ar spell, roll an arcana spell for me just of wind says go, each creature that must turn go, must succeed go, or push the away by no, default, let me let me put it this way: No matter what is propelling um, Tiamat forward, a resistance would still work, right? Um, so whether you know magical means is what we could assume is what allows yeah. Tiamat to fly, wind would still give a resistance to that. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Then uh, let's try this. I'm going to cast gust of wind mm -hmm. on him, and let me see if I can. Uh, her. Her. Sorry, on her, on her. Yeah, I keep misgendering her. Uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, it's hard to. It's hard to. To really be against Team Mont when so much hate is skewed <laughs> by the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> Me included. He actually identifies <laughs> as a dragon. Yeah, yeah. she does. So. Really makes you think, don't it? All right, uh, I'm targeting Tiamat and casting Gust of Wind, and the wind, of course, would be centered away from Waterdeep <coughs> to attempt to slow her down. Okay. That <laughs> she succeeded. Plus 19. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, great. Uh, well, so much for that. Uh, I think that's all I can do. I can. There's no moving that to be done, so I guess that's my turn. All right, then. It is now the Red Dragon's turn. I don't know what that was all about. What was that? Oh, it's... Um, I don't know what just happened there. It um, seems to still be getting fire damage from something. Well, because what else would it resist? Yeah. Anyway, I don't know why it's doing that. Let me look at it. Oh, it does have an effect. Hang on, I'm going to take that off. All right. Um, so the red dragon uh, is yours, Kravik. Yes. Um, 
can the Red Dragon catch up to Tiamat and grapple? Hmm. It can try, yeah. All right, All right. let's give it a go. All right, let me see here. Yeah, that'd be great. Ooh, nat 20. All right, so Ooh. Um, Ooh. the red dragon manages to grab uh, at the uh, one of her hind legs and um, bites into it and claws up towards uh, her thigh. Um, Timot lets out a loud screech, um, and it does manage to... Uh, they're, they're, I don't want to say they're falling, but... The red dragon is dragging Tiamat down towards the ground. Um, Hell not, yeah. not very fast, but she's not moving forward anymore. Mm -hmm. So this allowed everyone free reign. She's no longer moving t at this time. She's no longer moving towards um, uh, Waterdeep. Waterdeep. She is now kind of stuck in this area here near mm. Dragon Spear. Drag I turn. Her. I turn to Lenora and I go, "Well, that's one less problem." <laughs> Lenora says, "Stop singing." <laughs> <laughs> it is now Protanther's turn. Uh, Protanth I'd like to see the, the factory where Krabic is printing these T-shirts <laughs> to make this work. <laughs> Protanther's swooping down um, at uh, Tiamat's soft underbelly there to go in for a bite. It's a hit. Fifteen damage, partially resisted. Now he's going to claw. Man, just to miss. All right, and now it is Tiamat's turn. Um, first of all, Tiamat is going to try to get the adult red dragon off of her. Um, she is uh, her black dragon head is going to. Spew acid breath at the adult green dragon. I mean, red dragon. Uh, it failed. Takes 63 damage. Now, this is going to also affect Onthar because he's on top of it. Mm -hmm. Probably loving that his red dragon is so... Balls to the wall. <laughs> All right. I almost killed him. Uh, he's clinging on to life. I'm going to give a... Hang on. I'm going to do a roll for him real quick. I'm going to see if he falls off because he's weak now. Well, only the first one counts. Okay, he did not. He's managing to cling on. Um, he's bleeding heavily. Um, the acid just ate through his armor. His beard is almost completely gone. His skin is, you can see uh, parts of bone and tissue uh, through oh, uh, on his head. Uh, the yeah. acid has really uh, done a number on him. Um, and just now... The first yeah, just the first one. It is now <laughs> Terry's turn. Um... Terry is going to do the same as Protanther, uh, swoop down with Protanther. Um, first, she's going to attack with her wings. It failed. All right, took 20 damage, partially resisted. Um... And it is trying now to do paralyzing breath on Tiamat. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she succeeded. Go. All right. It is now Fife's turn. Wait. Thank you for that super chat, Clarence. Thank you very what, much. What kind of breath I, does uh, a silver dragon have? Can I use cutting words on that? Cold. Um. Sure. I know that she's probably going to say that she doesn't give a shit about that, but 
I, I do think there's a limit, especially because she's now invisible. And so I feel like I'm yeah. going to do it. Okay, All right. I'm doing it. Okay. She's see-through. Uh, so instead of friend. 20... Yeah, that would, that, would, 20, that would make it work. 18. Yeah, that would make it work. All right, so I'm going to... So <laughs> she, she is paralyzed for the moment and not definitely not moving now. Um, and it is your turn, Balasar, while she is... Oh, no, oh wait, no. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was just oh, my reaction. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Five, it's still your turn. My bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so she stopped. Yep. Um, assuming something happens where she starts moving again, how long would it take for her, assumingly, assuming we know where she's going, she's going to Waterdeep, correct? Do we know how long it would take for her to get there? Slash, should someone teleport ahead to warn the people? Uh, she, you guys are roughly about halfway there now already. Okay. But she's and not moving she right looking, now. Is she looking rough at all? You can't tell. Okay, okay. I am going to bonus action hex her for whatever reason. Okay. Um, how do I... Is it targeting? Sorry, hold on. Um, okay, and then I'm target myself. Okay. Um, and I will give her a weakness to constitution. And then I would like to do this myself. Okay, um, and then I would like to cast Finger of Death. Okay. On her. Ooh. Um, what is Finger of Death? I don't think you've used that one before. No, I haven't. It's my seventh level spell, so hopefully Ooh. it works. Okay. My hand up the butt. Finger of death. She succeeded. Uh, what does that mean? No, but she should have. She should have disadvantage. Roll it again, because then. Because I yeah, gave you're her. Right. Okay. Yeah, just roll it again. Okay, then. One more time. Ah, oh, she did me better. Okay, then I am going. She still takes this amount of damage. Okay. Half. Okay, so a and negative, then... a negative energy courses through Tiamat, um, and uh, you do you do see uh, two of her heads screech out in pain. Um, all right, go ahead. And. That's gonna be it for me, I think. Uh, wait, make sure I don't have anything else. That is all I can do. That was my big spell. Hopefully that hurt her. Um, yeah, that's it. That's me. All right. And maybe I'll say, like, should we, should we warn people? We have those scrolls of teleport. Maybe we should try to get to Waterdeep and say something so that everybody's not just surprised that a dragon goddess showed up. Do you have an extra attack that you didn't use, but you just don't have anything? Like, what do you mean? Oh, I'm just wondering if you have any more hours, arrows of dragon slaying or anything. No, that was all my... I, 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 used both I have one, action. and I'm regretting not using it on my turn. I, I'll use one. I'll either heal, depending on the situation, or I can maybe I can maybe heal and toss an arrow to you guys if um, if someone else wants to fire them. Uh, I mean, she's paralyzed. Now is the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wait, do, is there any, like, disadvantage because of that? Or advantage or anything, like, if, if she's paralyzed? I mean, I already got... Yeah, when you guys do attacks on her, for sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, she already was disadvantaged, so was, she still won, so it's whatever. Cool. Okay, that's it. All right, Balsar, you're up. I wonder if other groups try to haggle as much as we do. Oh yeah. Listen, if Nathan's sick, and this is the end. <laughs> Wait, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do everything I can to dazzle this man into giving us freebies. Honestly, I I wonder. I, I was the opposite. I was like, I wonder if anyone's as, ever as teacher's pet as me, because I'm always saying like, um, actually, we should get disadvantage on that. <laughs> um, we shouldn't be able to do that. Um, hail Tiamat. <laughs> you're the you're the exception you're the exception here i think maybe uh-huh well 
as the exception, I'm going to tell old Terry to get me in close enough to do some melee attack in. Okay. And I'm going to attack uh, Tima, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn on some uh, I'm going to turn on some Divine Smite. Hang on one sec. Yeah, I'm going to do this, and then I'm also going to it, it would be also an extra D8 if I um, so, so we'll see. Okay. All right. So I'm going to attack. And do I get advantage or something? Cause she's paralyzed. Yes, you do you get advantage. Hey, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Hit. Hey, all right. All right. So roll this. 45. Love it. Nice. Wow, 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 wow. Some of this, I don't know what the deal is, but I'm not going to look at, I'm not going to look at Gift Horse in the mouth. Um, so I think I should get another, uh, I think I should get another D8. So I'm going to throw that up. Okay, one. Fantastic. Just thrilled for that. Got it. Um, and that is my last uh, my last spell slot, but I am going to attack again. Okay. Let me just make sure that this thing is off. Because I wouldn't want to do extra damage if I... <laughs> as you all know. Um, what is a win if it is tainted by the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. I'm going to attack again. Advantage. Hit. hit. Hey, all right. Hit. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. Better than nothing. Uh, <laughs> and then um, I agree on, on as a sort of i also say gosh uh first of all to to otary i'm like yeah back us up a bit uh and then um and then uh to um to five i'm like yes uh wizards warn someone warn them in water deep all right tell them to man the battlements after you yell that um you can see tiamat's red head is attempting um to open its mouth uh give me a second and we're gonna have to roll for it because she's paralyzed here Let's see if she has the strength to break through at this point 24 um so she does manage to break herself free. It looks like the uh, you're you're over her. You just struck her, um, and um, she her red head opens its maw and it is struggling at first. And then you notice that her full animation comes back, and she is broken free and is no longer paralyzed. And a as her mouth opens, a great breath of fire comes screeching out um, towards you. Uh, so let's see here. First, old Terry. Oh, I want to get Terry. Oh, never mind. He succeeded. <laughs> Sorry, Terry. Whatever Jared was going to do. <laughs> Wait, but aren't Balasar and I are back on, on uh, old Terry's back? Yeah. So we're going to get mm -hmm. him, too. Yep. Uh, so now it is, let's roll for Ron Tronic. Don't forget, I have half on this, too, because of my heart. Uh, I get half I, fire. I, I turn to uh, Trona guys and I say, I have also respected you. It has been a pleasure <laughs> to serve with you. I do not see me surviving this. Here we go. Does, Half damage, you... though. 87. So it actually should be um, 43. 44. 44, right. 40. 40. We yeah, round up or down? Or we round up. So yeah, it rounds up. Yeah. 134. Round down. I feel like down. Because we might die. Wait, one. Okay, forty-three or forty-four, whichever one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> forty-three or forty-four. All right, now let's roll for Balasar. 
Uh, I want to give Balasar a 14, if that, if that succeeds for him. A 14? Yeah, does that succeed? Uh, hang on, let me see. Let me roll and look and see what it says, because he probably has maybe some pluses too, I don't know. Uh, so he actually, if he'd had a 14, it would have been a 16. No, that's still a fail. Yeah, no, so a 20 would oh, fail. save. But don't you're, so you're, don't a dragon. you're a dragon. Don't you get, like, resistance to fire? I would I think he does. I am a red dragon, and I do uh, get half thought damage so. from this. I thought but, so. But, but at 24d6, uh, it depends what the rolls are. Okay, good. So did I it, am alive. It, it did do the resist on some for you, it too. It did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All mm -hmm. right, cool. All right. <laughs> and now it is... On Thar Froom's turn. Um, um on really quick. Sure. Again, to be just to be truly <laughs> the biggest fucking teacher's pet. Uh -huh. and just to really push my glasses up a little bit. <laughs> if if Anthar had to had to roll to be on still on the dragon mm -hmm. when he is almost at half health, do I have to roll when I am like eighty percent? Dead. No, this was a situation where Onthar Froom just got caught in a nasty. I mean, it, Ooh, it, okay. you guys are you guys are further back, right? Like he, the dragon was literally on her leg. Um, so when she reached down and just spewed acid, it literally was like inches from his from himself, okay. right? So he just got. I loved, love to hear it. So it's a little, <laughs> little different, a little right. different for him. Um, I just so, want to make sure that if we win, that it is, it, 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 you know? Anyway, yeah. all right, I'm done. So, um, Anthar Froom is um, uh, not able to do much. Um, you, uh, you can tell that he is attempting to swing his sword, but his sword just falls out of his hand, and you see it plummet down into the forest below. Um, oh, that's so sad. And it not is... half a face. <laughs> it's Tronic's turn. All right, question. How many potions of healing can one person drink at one time without throwing up? <laughs> one bone, you get you get one as a bonus. You can also drink another one, but it would be your one of your actions. It'd be an action. Uh, okay. Are you going to double fist? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to double fist, and I'm going to drink two here. <laughs> so I get uh, 2d4 plus two, I guess, for each one. So let's see. Okay. okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do uh, seven, seven plus four. Th that's ten, or no, seven I, plus I, that's two. eleven. Oh, it's plus two. Okay, so that's nine for the first one. Okay, so give me so give me nine back, and then seven for the other one. So yeah, okay. give me another seven. Give me another seven back. Okay, so that's one of my three turns. Um, are we are we still in melee range or no? You can be because you're on dragons. We can be or we can't be. You can be. You can yeah. be because he's paralyzed what do you, still. What do, you think? Paralyzed. what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Belzar? Should we go in for an attack here? I mean, yes. Okay. We, we must destroy her. All right. Ourselves be down. All right. Uh, listening to my friend, and uh, yeah, I'm taking a melee swing with my great sword. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fuck my face must be melting. Hit. Yeah. Oh, I also, I guess fire damage doesn't do shit on her anyway, so I'm not even going to bother with that. <coughs> right? From my sword? That doesn't do it. From the fire sword? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that was. What? Team up versus Krabic. Did Kra Does Krabic have a spell on her or something? Uh, she was hit. Maybe she gets unparalyzed. Is that the deal? Oh, it's because of the yeah. It's because of that. I'm sure. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead because she's not paralyzed anymore. <clears throat> she's got a damage on her too. So kind of Krabby's oh, done something no, to her. Five paralyzed. Her, oh, it's right? five. Not yeah, Krabic? there's a damage on her. Uh, some kind of damage of some no, sort. So she's she's disadvantaged. Krabby, did you cast something on her? I mean, I'm I'm targeting her right now, but I haven't cast anything this turn. Uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know what that's about. All right, uh, but anyway, you did. Uh, did you? You still got to roll for. You did do your damage, right? Yeah, it was twenty one. Okay, let's see. okay and perfect. Then I think it should have. It should have done it too, or if it did anything. Uh, did, it, did it do anything? Something. <laughs> Team up just glitched. Um, 
She got all her health back? <laughs> yeah, she did. Uh, hang on a second. Um, I know that, roughly uh, what she was. Uh, Powers you can use at any time? Just no, no. Full heal. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I feel like this is like every video game I've ever played. I thought I was close <laughs> to winning, and then all of a sudden they full healed, and I'm like, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's fixed I, now. I me with Hades like, a, like three weeks mm. ago. I was like, oh, I beat him, and then he's like, no, I just I have another form. Yeah. And uh, beat the shit out of me. So Tiamat is visibly hurt at same this point. Same same. After you hit her, um, you can Wait, see I another attack. Okay, okay but before your attack, um, after that attack, you know, you're going to get a chance here before this happens. But you can tell her whole her five heads have twisted downwards, and you can tell she is looking uh, to flee into the um, into the forest of worms that is below her. Um, she's also letting out just absolute. Uh, ear-shattering screeches out of all five heads looking down Jeez. at the forest of worms. All right, but go ahead with your attack. <laughs> but but all that aside, do your little, <laughs> do your little toothpick attack. Yeah, uh, do your little. <clears throat> have fun. Uh, okay. I miss. miss. All right. Wait, qu uh, I before, sorry, um, on my sort of non-attack uh, sort of last thing, like do, I turn to Balasar and I'm like, do we? How do we send her back? Other than do we just kill her, or how does this work? I know not. We strike her till he returns to the nine L, seven L, whichever one you <laughs> may believe. Yeah. <laughs> the eight and a half. Hells. Okay. Yeah, eight helms uh, is a nice medium. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, Krabic, it's Strike. your turn. Strike. All right. I am casting Blight on a Tiamat. Okay. She All succeeded. Right, well, half damage. Nice. So give me Whoa. a second. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what that spell, so uh, I'm going to have to narrate this. Let me I... look it up real quick. Blight, Blight. It's a Lord boy. Necrotic damage. Okay. So um, you cast this, you're a top protanther, you swoop in a bit, he gets you a good angle here, Krabic, and you... Oh, can uh, we, sorry, can we retcon something? Because this is the same damage that Fife did, um, and so I'd like there to be cinematically a moment of recognition, like, oh, necrotic damage works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you realize as it hits her, uh, you see all five heads are twist into this deformed kind of uh, look of shock and awe as she looks up and it and it lands on her, um, and she begins spinning. And as she's spinning, lightning is crashing into her, and she's falling down towards the forest of worms below you and all the rain and the lightning striking at her as she spins downwards. Loud shrieks are, are coming out, not just from her five uh, malls, but also you can hear shrieks in the distance below at the forest of worms. The black dragon that was following has uh, swooped down and... Um, as if he's trying to catch her, um, but as he swoops down into her, he passes right through her. There is a huge, uh, uh, the, the forest, big trees begin to sway and open up and, and in between where there's the gap between all the trees opening like a giant mouth, you see fire and brimstone and you see a hand reach up. It's a, it's a hand that it's red. It looks like it's wearing a spiked glove. And it reaches up and grabs Tiamat as she is turning Etheril and pulls her back down in between the trees into the fire. And the trees close up around it. And you see dragons just scatter out of the forest um, in all directions. Um, like you would see a flock of birds except for its dragons all screeching uh, in, in what sounds like terror as they flee out um, in all directions from the forest of worms. Um, the black dragon uh, must have, in all the chaos of all the other dragons flying, uh, have left with them because you no longer see him either. And Tiamat has been defeated, and it appears she has returned to the nine hells of Avernus. Whoa. Oh my god. We did it! Oh. 
Krabbit got the final head wind spell. You're welcome, everyone. I don't want to too early claim the uh, battle battle bonus here, but uh, it's so funny. If I hadn't, if I hadn't have wasted that polymorph on the black dragon, who then just shrugged it off, then uh, <laughs> then that fatal blow would have gone to uh, uh, Tronic. Probably. I am more than happy to for you to have had it, my friend. Well played. You slowed her yeah. down. You you uh, was able to even paralyze her for a minute, and she put up. She was doing a lot of breath attacks, um, but you guys finished her off. Now, in the aftermath of what what happens um, in the days uh, following this, uh, the the vindictive chromatic dragons they kind of scattered back to their lairs, um, but. Only after a lot of them had went and claimed choice pieces of treasures and barrels bulging with gold and gems from the cult's hoard uh, in the wreckage uh, back at the Well of Dragons. Um, now, despite the victory, uh, the armies and the alliances of Waterdeep paid a very steep cost. Um, most of the soldiers who had uh, traveled with you to the Well of Dragons was uh, met a demise. Um, However, uh, the leaders representing the royal nobility of countless houses certainly fell in the fight. Um, Anthar Froom did not survive. Um, he was, you guys oh, no. did bring him back to Waterdeep, uh, but the damage was too much. Um, uh, he did pass on his uh, fortunes uh, to his drinking buddy, Tronic. Um, hey. um, and, um, uh, but... Just as in the past, though, of course, the Forgotten Realms has endured the greatest threat to its stability as ever seen. Go, and at least go, for the moment, go, go, the realms go, and all go, those who call go, it home go, can go, find go, peace. Go, go. Um, we all, all get medals, except for, Bal except for Balasar, who just roars in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so the I want to I want to say one more thing, though. Um, you know, months have passed since all these events took place. Of course, you guys are obviously renowned as great heroes for taking down Tiamat. Um, there's a rebuilding effort with Waterdeep. Uh, who would who would probably join and help rebuild Baldur's Gate that had fallen? Now, my guess is that all of us would. Yeah, would this everybody? Is a Very much a personal cause for Lenora. Lenora lost her own village. That's her origin story. So, yeah, she's... She's here for that cause for sure. Okay, so everybody uh, helped um, try to rebuild Baldur's Gate back. She like, just picks up things sometimes. She doesn't. She's not like hardcore. She just like singing songs. <laughs> <laughs> but as you guys were helping uh, rebuild Baldur's Gate, um, you begin to hear rumors and whispers of people saying um, that due to the massive defeat that the dragons have taken, that the giants are beginning to become much more active um, and uh, uh, hunting down dragons in their lairs and getting more boisterous um, in many of the towns and villages. Now, what when they had spent so many of the past few months fearing dragons are now beginning to fear the giants um, as the giants, from what you've heard, believe that it is about to enter the age of giants now that the... Uh, uh, dragons have been so mightily defeated and you've wiped out so many of their numbers. Um, and beyond that, you guys help, do help rebuild Baldur's Gate to, uh, not, not back to its former glory, but, uh, people are beginning to live, uh, in Baldur's Gate again. Um, and some of the refugees that have went, uh, to Waterdeep and, um, to Scornable and some of the other surrounding areas are beginning to return home. And... Although you have defeated Tiamat and you have stopped the cult, there are still there's still members of the cult. You've heard that an evil lich has taken over the cult. Of course, it will take what you would assume to be millennia for them to even rebuild to any kind of semblance of being a threat uh, to the Sword Coast for a very long time. And that, hey. and that my friends, is the end of the Tyranny of Dragons. Whoa. Big question. Do we get a statue Ooh. in Baldur's Gate? Uh, do you get a what? A statue in our honor. In Waterdeep you do. 
Um, in Waterdeep, in Waterdeep, um, th there's many entrances to Waterdeep, but uh, the uh, port uh, that faces the west to the sea, um, there is a there's you're lined up with several other heroes from the past, um, and there's giant statues facing the ocean. Uh, so when all the you know uh, sailors or or uh, what have you come into dock, um, there are statues of you there. Um, and it's it's not just a statue of each one of you, but a statue of each of you surrounding a five-headed dragon with your foot atop her and, and her five heads reaching up, um, sc screeching as um, you have defeated her. And Fife's finger in her ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last thing that everybody sees before they leave the city. <laughs> and so, the adventure may have come to a close this day, but there is more, because real adventures never end, and as you all know, the D&D actually goes to level 20 and you're only level 16. So we will be continuing this campaign for anybody who's interested in continuing the adventures of Lenora, Balazar, Tronic, Kravik, Fife. We will be continuing next year, 2023. We're gonna take a break for the holidays, etc. We'll be back, and we'll see what happens with our brave adventurers. So dramatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Tony really doesn't necessarily match our group vibe yeah. all the time. So if you love hearing they adventurers Jack Clarence and what their next move is, <laughs> join us next year. <laughs> uh, no. Thank you, Nathan. That was, that, that was awesome. Extremely fun. Yeah, especially that Thank final you. battle with all the dragons. Extremely fun. Yeah, great job, guys. Um, great job. One, one last thing. Uh, there is one last thing. I'm so sorry. Uh, in honor of our victory, I have written a dragon poem mm. uh, <laughs> that I would love to recite to all of us before we yeah, let me put on uh, that music for you real quick too, for the uh, background here. So <gasps> if it'll if it'll do it, I think it will. Um. Okay, go ahead, Bell. Sorry. Ah, thank you. Here, but as modern, new adventure, our calling. <laughs> we move ahead. Here, but you dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what the new year brings? How many magical rings? <laughs> but the bard knows and sings of the hero who fell Tiamat. And that is the end. <laughs> well, well, great well, job, great well, job. Yeah. I, think, I, I think somebody in the chat had asked for that last week. So. They did, they did. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's incredible. So now they get, they get it for him. So, yeah, um, they, uh, two yeah. options for you guys. You guys don't have to make your decision tonight. You can think about it. Um, but two major avenues open up for you guys as adventurers, okay? There's two major things. Um, uh, first of all, uh, the alliance, because of you know the epicness and how well you fought against Tiamat, they are asking that you go to Avernus and kill her for good. Uh, they believe Ooh. they could open a portal. Uh, you could go to Avernus where she actually is and defeat Tiamat, you know, for real instead of just sending her back. Um, that is one option you guys could take. The other is all the rumors of the giants and um, uh, them beginning to uh, try to take advantage of the situation, the dragons being down and trying to uh, kind of uh, push forth with their power uh, throughout the realm. Um, that is the two avenues that you could choose between on what you would like to do uh, for our uh, ongoing campaign uh, next year. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, both sound fun. We'll have to talk Do we want to go to hell or do we want to <laughs> uh, fight 
huge mountains of men. Yep. Well, I just want to say thanks to everybody who would join us in the chat each week. Also very cool uh, that you do that for them. And, and uh, you know, obviously we appreciate their support. So, Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you to you guys who've been playing. I think you guys have been the most fun it could possibly even be to play D and D. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh -huh. I love you guys to death. And I know that the people do too. Um, as a matter of fact, yesterday somebody on my live stream asked if uh, they could have a Balasar doll, and <laughs> I liked that idea so much that I'm going to make dolls of all of the characters. I Whoa. believe. <laughs> oh my god! So here's what I need, and obviously not live, okay? But after uh, on private ch on our Just private need your chat, account information. <laughs> uh, your I need. And your mother's name. From what I understand, you guys all live fairly close to one another. Is that accurate? Ish. Um, yeah. um, Ish. If well, I can, except for whoever lives in Beacon. Yeah, yeah that's me. Okay. Well, if I could have, I don't know how. We'll, we'll talk about this off, off channel, right? Uh, uh, or um, you know, off stream. But um, if I could have a PO box or something, I could mail. I could just send the uh, dolls out, um, and it, each person could have a oh. a doll of their character, uh, like a plush. Oh. That'd be. I think that'd be super cool. I love that. I would love that. Oh my God! Thank you. Yeah, and that was that was uh, that was chat, um, and that was on a totally different stream when I was just talking about you know that you guys were about to defeat Bahamut or not Bahamut, uh, Tiamat, and uh, someone had mentioned like I, I want I want you know I want a doll of B Balasar, and I was like you know what that's a really good idea. I still think we need we need the puppets though. I yeah, feel like, I feel like we need some puppet action next adventure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm down with that for sure. All right, well. Thank you, everybody. Uh, ended a little shorter you, this week because, you know, what, what you going to do? They killed Tiamat. Um, <laughs> 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 but thanks, everybody, for joining us. And don't forget, I'll be back live streaming here in a couple of hours um, uh, as soon as we wrap up everything behind the scenes because I am going to be streaming Dark Age Camelot with the Pantheon Plus crew tonight. Um, uh, I'm going to roll a, a dirty old Hibernian, um, so uh, join me for that, and uh, that way we can play with Dimos and Drac and all them um, tonight for their uh, midnight party. And, um, yeah, so join me for that later today. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for all the super chat tonight, guys. Hope everybody enjoyed the finale uh, to this adventure, and then we'll see what they decide to do if they decide to chase after Tiamat, um, which remember guys, you did for just a little bit there fight the true power of Tiamat uh, before you found a way to weaken her. She would be at full power in Avernus, um, uh, mm. but you guys could do that or you could go and investigate, you know, just be like, you know, it's going to take a long time for somebody can summon Tiamat ever again anyway and just worry about the dragons. That's completely up to you guys, but I would build the say, campaign. It's really funny. It's really funny the idea conceptually of us like kicking her ass and then like show like coming up to her house like a week later and being like ready for round two like, <laughs> you. never gonna come back to my place again it is very aggressive so we just that's a little comedic Collectively, discovered we had a sickness, and that sickness was fighting you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I left. Why are you guys here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like obsessed with me. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have to get a restraining order on you guys, but yeah, that's up to you guys. What, whatever you guys decide, though, I'll build the campaign around that. Um. So, um. I just, or maybe you come up with another idea that you think you'd rather do. It doesn't matter, but I'll build the campaign about, around whatever you guys want to do. But thanks, awesome. everybody. Everybody have a great night. Great. And we will see you guys in 2023 with more adventures as they work their way up to max level and ultimate godly D&D &D power. Bye. Hell yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.